Ag Tech Tech Tip Slope Colors and Boundaries The latest version of Gradework will now display a color-coded slope map. This is beneficial in determining surface areas and volumes within specific slope ranges. In Edit Mode, select the Display menu and select Slope Colors. The Slope Color Ranges window will display the color increments. The Plan View will show the various slope color ranges. And the default slope ranges may be modified. For example, we will change the top range from 2 to 1 to 1 to 1 to vertical. You may also click the up and down arrows to adjust the slopes in small increments. Color ranges may be added or deleted. And the range color may also be modified. Click Reset to reset the colors to the program defaults. To save new default color ranges, click the Save button. The slope colors will also be displayed in Materials. Click Close to close the Slope Ranges window. You may click Yes to turn off the slope colors or click No to keep the slope color map enabled. You can press T to toggle the map on and off. Slope boundaries may also be generated for calculating the areas of the slope ranges. Select the Utility menu and select Slope Boundaries. The lines will be generated in the Slope Boundaries layer. To calculate an area, select one of the lines outlining the desired slope. Click the Label Selection button to select all lines with this slope range. Press the Alt F key to display the fill patterns in case there are any holes within the slope boundaries. Then click the Length Area button to calculate the areas. Check the Calc Slope Area box and check Exclude Verticals and click OK. The slope area of the selected lines will display. You may also use the slope boundaries to enter balance regions or use materials to document the different slope areas. In Materials, create a structure for the desired slope range. Then select one of the slope boundary lines. Click the Label Selection button to select all the lines with the same label. Then assign the lines to the structure. To calculate the slope area, select all the structures. Click the Calc Slope Areas button. Then check Selected Areas and click OK. Check the Design Surface and click OK. The slope areas will be calculated. The areas will be marked with an asterisk on the report to indicate the area has been adjusted for slope. 